Let's plot the given information on the Cartesian plane. We are given a square, one side of which is inclined to the x-axis and passes through the origin. Using this side as the base, we complete the square. And let's denote the four vertices of the square by A, B, C and D respectively. And let's assume that A is the origin. We are given that the sides of the square are equal to A and that the side AD makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of the x-axis. Now drop perpendiculars from the vertex B and the vertex D onto the x-axis and let's denote the foot of the perpendicular by M and N respectively. Therefore, in right angle triangle ADN, the base AN is equal to A cos alpha and the perpendicular DN is equal to A sin alpha and therefore the coordinates of the point D are A cos alpha, A sin alpha. Similarly, in right angle triangle AMB, the angle BAM is equal to pi upon 2 minus alpha and therefore the angle ABM is equal to alpha. Therefore in right angle triangle AMB, the side BM is equal to A cos alpha and the side AM is equal to A sin alpha and therefore the coordinates of the point B are minus A sin alpha, A cos alpha. Now since the side AD makes an angle alpha, with the positive direction of the x-axis. Therefore, the gradient of the line AD, let's call it M, is equal to tan alpha. And therefore, the gradient of the line BC, which is parallel to AD, is also equal to tan alpha. Sides AB and CD of the square are perpendicular to AD, and therefore their gradient is equal to minus 1 upon tan alpha or minus cot alpha. We are now in a position to write the equation of the side BC which passes through the point B. The equation is y minus a cos alpha divided by x plus a sin alpha is equal to the gradient of the line which is tan alpha as determined earlier. Cross multiplying we get y minus a cos alpha is equal to tan alpha times in brackets x plus a sin alpha. And therefore, the equation of the line BC is y is equal to a cos alpha plus x tan alpha plus a sin alpha times sin alpha upon cos alpha. The right hand side is equal to x tan alpha plus a upon cos alpha times in brackets sin square alpha plus cos square alpha. And therefore the equation of the line simplifies to y is equal to x tan alpha plus a sec alpha. Similarly, we are in a position to write the equation of the side CD which is y minus a sin alpha divided by x minus a cos alpha is equal to the gradient of the line which is equal to minus cot alpha as determined earlier. Cross multiplying we get y is equal to a sin alpha minus cot alpha times in brackets x minus a cos alpha. This is equal to minus x times cot alpha plus a upon sin alpha times in brackets cos square alpha plus sin square alpha and therefore the equation of the side CD simplifies to y is equal to minus x cot alpha plus a times cosec alpha. Now note that the diagonal AC passes through the point of intersection of the line BC and CD.
the equation of the line BC as determined above is y minus x tan alpha minus a sec alpha is equal to 0 and the equation of the side CD as determined above is y plus x cot alpha minus a cosec alpha is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the diagonal AC can be written as y minus x tan alpha minus a sec alpha plus lambda times in brackets y plus x cot alpha minus a cosec alpha is equal to 0 where lambda is a parameter. Now the diagonal AC passes through the point A which is the origin with coordinates 0, 0. Substituting x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in the above equation of line AC we get minus A sec alpha minus lambda times A cosec alpha is equal to 0. A cancels and we get lambda is equal to minus sec alpha upon cosec alpha which is equal to minus 1 upon cos alpha divided by 1 upon sin alpha which is equal to minus tan alpha. Substituting lambda is equal to minus tan alpha in the above equation of the diagonal AC we get y minus x tan alpha minus a sec alpha minus tan alpha times in brackets y plus x times cot alpha minus a times cosec alpha is equal to 0. Combining the coefficients of x and y respectively we get y times in brackets 1 minus tan alpha minus x times in brackets tan alpha plus 1 is equal to a sec alpha minus a cosec alpha times tan alpha. Now the right hand side is equal to a upon cos alpha minus a upon sin alpha times sin alpha upon cos alpha which simplifies to 0. Therefore, the equation of the diagonal AC is y times in brackets 1 minus sin alpha upon cos alpha minus x times in brackets 1 plus sin alpha upon cos alpha is equal to 0 which can be written as y times in brackets cos alpha minus sin alpha is equal to x times in brackets sin alpha plus cos alpha. Now to determine the equation of the diagonal BD, we note that it passes through the point B with coordinates minus a sin alpha a cos alpha and it also passes through the point D with coordinates a cos alpha a sin alpha. Therefore, the equation of the diagonal BD is y minus a sin alpha divided by x minus a cos alpha is equal to a cos alpha minus a sin alpha divided by minus a sin alpha minus a cos alpha. A cancels across the numerator and the denominator on the right hand side and the right hand side can be written as minus of cos alpha minus sin alpha divided by cos alpha plus sin alpha. Cross multiplying we get cos alpha plus sin alpha times in brackets 
y minus a sin alpha plus in brackets cos alpha minus sin alpha times in brackets x minus a cos alpha is equal to 0. This can be written as y times cos alpha plus sin alpha plus x times cos alpha minus sin alpha is equal to a sin alpha times in brackets cos alpha plus sin alpha plus a cos alpha times in brackets cos alpha minus sin alpha. On the right hand side a sin alpha cos alpha cancels and we are left with a times in brackets sin square alpha plus cos square alpha which is equal to a. Therefore the equation of the diagonal BD is y times in brackets cos alpha plus sin alpha plus x times in brackets cos alpha minus sin alpha is equal to a. And this is the required answer.